Yowski. Today, before we get to the project, I would like to present uh, the argument, which I believe is important enough for me to be facing you. So, you know, this is about false sense of security, false security versus sincere insecurity. So, the story goes like this. You are a responsible adult and you do realize that if you have a kitchen, especially one which has a gas stove, so open flames, the possibility of fire is always there. But being responsible, you get yourself a thing that can help you in such a situation, like this sort of a fire extinguishing spray. And you know, being a responsible adult, you put it in like a very prominent place in your kitchen, so it's always visible, everyone in the household knows how to use it. And you know, you're kind of feeling much better. Uh, having that there. But you know how, how it is. A month passes and you realize that this thing, the only thing it's really doing, it is gathering dust. So you just think to yourself, well, let's me put it into a cupboard, you know, but not any cupboard, the most used one. So it's still, you know, just one door away in the case of an emergency, not much time added. You just put it there. And you know how life goes. Three months pass and uh, you kind of realize that, you know, you didn't really have any fire and this thing is kind of chunky and uh, you know takes space in the cupboard the most used one so you still you like see it at least once a day but it's just getting into way in your way so you at that point i mean you just think well it is already in a cupboard let me shove it in another cupboard like an offload cupboard somewhere you know else and you do it and you know everything is fine half a year passes no fires but then then you are doing your deep fried Mars butter, you know, like whatever stuff uh, or that like requires a lot of oil and high temperature, and you suddenly get a call. And you know, it really doesn't matter if it is the sort of a positive call. Maybe you won lottery or like the bad kind of call. Maybe someone you care about was in a terrible accident. But you know, you basically focus on just the phone call until until you start smelling something really bad, really weird, and. Oh no, is that smoke? Yes, that is smoke. So you drop everything, rush into your kitchen, and you see this gigantic fire, you know, like almost touching the ceiling. But you remember you were a responsible adult. So you look, and you don't see your fire spray. But you've put it there, it's been there. But then you realize, oh, I must have moved it to a cupboard. You open the cupboard, and it is not there. At that point, your brain kind of freezes, you start going over the cupboards and still can't find the thing. And you know what happens in the meantime? Your ceiling is on fire. See? That's false sense of security. Now, just to complete this story. You are still a responsible adult. Everything is the same except you never bothered to get anything like the fire spray or a fire blanket. So what do you do? You get back to your kitchen, you see, oh my god, oil fire. First thing, turn off the gas stove. It shouldn't be adding any more heat into the equation. The second thing, you realize you don't have a fire extinguisher, fire spray, fire blanket or anything like that. What can you do? A large lid. Just put a lid on the thing. So, you know, you grab a lid, like whatever's like as close as possible. And then you think, well, I won't be putting my hand there. Let me grab some tongs. The longer, the better. You grab the lid with the tongs. You put it on the thing. And there's no more fire. And the day is saved. You see? Because you weren't being frozen or fixated on a solution or like a thing that will help you. Instead, you were solving the problem like step by step as it were. So yeah, hopefully that was uh, inspiring you to think about how these things work. And, you know, like this is just my imagination, but... I'm pretty sure that people do freeze, especially in you know, like high stress, uh, exceptional situations like this. So yeah, that's end of the argument. If you have any comment, there is a reason why in any commercial space, uh, fire extinguishers and things like that are very well visible and accessible. So as you can see here, my solution here is made out of metal and plastic as it should be oh yeah, let's yank this out and yeah we have uh, two major pieces so the first thing is the aluminum bracket 
it's 3 cm wide, 25 cm this part and uh, the bottom floor is 7 cm. So it's a 3 cm by 32 cm uh, and 2 mm thick aluminum, which I cut out from my very large shield, that was uh, fun. And yeah, I've added some nice radius, this is uh, again like uh, matching, because you know, you don't want to have any sharp edges on your emergency stuff. And yeah, pretty basic construction, one, two, three, four holes for mounting, I'm not using this, those three are already overkill. And then two pairs of smaller holes for uh, riveting the straps in. And the straps are nice uh, yellow uh, nylon straps. I've sewn in like a overhang here, you know, like made a little handle thing. And uh, yeah, there's uh, some Velcro. Uh, this is the loop part on the outside and the hook part on the inside. They are probably like a couple centimeters long. And yeah, those two straps are identical. And the idea is that, you know, I'm not uh, bought into the brand of the fire spray that I have currently. So in case uh, there will be a different uh, sized can or, you know, etc, etc, I still have some room here uh, to strap something a little bit smaller and also a little bit uh, larger. So, yeah, very simple uh, construction. I also like the fact that this is yellow, so, you know, like high visibility stuff. And, uh, yeah, putting the thing in, because again, the idea with those things is that you would prefer to never have to use them, which uh, I'm perfectly fine with, but, uh, yeah, and if the thing, like, your emergency thing is not right there in your face when you need it, then it's just false security. And we know that we do not want that. In any case, stay safe. Bye.